Hi everyone, I just wanted to share with you um, a couple of things, very, very small haul that I got when I went with Richard to Delta Art Supply um, on Saturday, or Friday it was. Um, I bought a couple of things and one of the things I bought is brand new to me. I had never heard of these, so I'm thinking maybe somebody else has never heard of them either, but they're very cool and worth sharing. So the first thing that I got, I got some of my ATG uh, refill rolls. Now when we buy this at Michael's, it's uh, $9.99 for the general purpose. I never get the acid free. I always get general purpose. And it's $9.99 for double rolls. And then if you get 40% uh, off, it makes it around a little over $6. But at Delta, they're regularly priced $5.95. So that's almost just a little under three dollars a roll so uh, that's what I usually pick up there so I picked up four rolls so there's two in each box so four rolls of tape then I I love transparent acrylic ink when you're doing art journaling because if you're painting over text and you still want that you know those dark colors like this one is I think it's like a sienna or a burnt umber let me find the name yeah, this is a burnt umber, and this pretty color here is called bird wing copper. So you shake them up really good, they get a lot of sediment. But sometimes you want to paint and have those distressed looks to your picture, but you don't want to lose, like, text especially. So I'm just going to pull this little piece of text down just as a little demonstration and I got a brush so we will just try these out and you guys can see what I mean so uh, they come with a little dropper I've used them a lot before sometimes these what this one is pearl essence the copper so it has a bit of a pearly finish to it and although it's a darker color if it was acrylic paint it would completely cover up your text it is an acrylic paint, but it's opaque, so you can still see your words underneath. Can you see that? So the only place I've ever seen these is at art stores. So this one is the one Burnt Umber, which we know is a very dark brown. This one is not pearlescent. It's just, um, you know, no pearl in it. What's the opposite of pearlescent? I'm not sure. But even if you brush it, see I probably used way, way too much there. You can look in the corner. You can still see your text through. And with most acrylic paints, that's not the possibility. It just would cover up the text completely. So that's why I really, really, really love transparent acrylics as well as the regular acrylics, but they each have their place. So I got those two colors. And then the thing that I got that I just thought was super, super cool are these Faber Castell, that's the name of the brand, Essential Gelatos. And it says they're for designing memory and craft. And I thought, what are they? They look like chapstick. So here is, this one is brown, or black, sorry, black licorice. This one is called coconut. It's just white. The gold is probably just called gold, I'm sure. It doesn't even have a name. And then silver. And I thought, you know when you're doing dry embossing, especially at Christmas time, there's a lot of those dry embossed things that are, that are like Merry Christmas and all that. Now I tested these out on a piece of black argyle. So there's the white, there is the gold and the silver. I just did a very little bit. So I'm going to try it on this green bingo card number one. And I will just take the, let's just take the silver. What's really cool about them, they look like like a chapstick and they even feel, excuse my messy hands, they feel like a, a bit of a soft wax crayon. And then you just simply just color like you would normally. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And then if you want to spread it out, you just smear it up like so. Look at that, how well that covers and how easy that is. 
that's even quicker than getting out your distress um, sponge roller and uh, and there aren't any silver distress ink that I know of or gold anyway so let's try the black because that'll be a good contrast on this green so it just pops off like chapstick and you just color like so and it seems to only color the raised up edge which is really really cool and this really gives it, the black on the green gives it such a distressed look. It almost looks very Halloween-y. Can you see? Aren't they neat? So they're called Faber Caster Essential Gelatos. So I'm going to try, I'm looking for the lid, there it is. I'm going to try the white on the black. And the only clear piece is there. But it'll definitely show the white. So we will pull that off. And just rub it over there. I mean, how awesome. I just envision like some of those snowflake embossing folders and then covering up with white or silver. Very neat. So I've used the black, the white. Let's try the gold on this green. And that's what it looks like. And there's just this number 63 here that doesn't have anything on it. So that doesn't show up that terribly great. I mean, it does, but not that good. Let me see. How about on this brown? Oh, that's got paint. This has got Martha Stewart paint. Remember I told you that it's great for embossing um, instead of gold buffer? These are the metallic paints I was talking about. I didn't get these at Delta Art Supply. I got these at Michael's. But this is the metallic copper, and that's how it shows. And then this is the other one I use quite a bit, the gold. And we'll see where our gold does. It actually works too. Makes it look really goldy. So these are awesome, awesome. They were $3.95. I'm going to try the gold again on this black here. Can you see it there? Very pretty. So they were $3.95. Regular $4.79 for two, and I got them for $3.95 for the pair. So I just think these are awesome. Um, it feels like this whole uh, tube is full. They're heavy, you know, there's not super heavy, but you know what I mean. There's enough weight in there that you can tell that there's substantial amount in them. And they're way uh, less inexpensive than anything else I can think of. I just thought they were fantastic. So where's the one that I just did? Yeah. So it's pretty, well, it's still not quite dry, but you know, you could work around this. You could be uh, cutting this out and adhering it without it really getting too much on, like as if it was paint, it would be too wet. But isn't this cool? So that's the black and the silver. And then if you notice on the black here, you could have a two-tone color number Like, let's try the the free. The word free there is all silver. And then you could just go over a little bit with the black. Yeah, like so. Very, very neat. So, if you guys have art supply stores in your area, check them out for craft supplies. They have amazing, amazing stuff. I'm always just kind of putzing around just to see what they have while Richard's getting his oil paints and stuff. And I always find something new to try. Like the first time I discovered these, that I just bought one of them. And I thought, what is liquid acrylic? And you know that you could see transparent liquid acrylic. Didn't cost very much. I think it was about $3 and I wanted to see it. So now it's a product that I absolutely love. And I know I'm going to love these. Absolutely. So I want to show you these. Um, the paint is already dry. So there you see how you can see the text still through. And that one. But yet they're still acrylic paints. Thought that was neat. So that's my haul from Delta. I just thought I'd share it with you guys. I hope you're having a great day. And thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.